Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. First of all, I would like to thank for all of you who have seen my previous videos and you watch them, like them, share them. Especially if you subscribe, I'm truly grateful for all of those great energies and I'm very glad that you are back for more. If you are new to my channel, I would like to give you a big welcome uh, and I'm very glad that you found me. In today's reading, uh, we're gonna have a, a, a pick a card style of reading where you're able to choose between two paths, either the green or the blue. And I already shuffled the cards and laid them out for you. And we're gonna take a look at the meanings of the card pretty much from every angle. We're gonna take a look at the energies from the past, the present, and the future outcome of the reading as well. So, your only job is really to pick either the green or the blue. In the time step below, you're going to be able to find uh, 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 a direct uh, link to the pile that you chose. Uh, and uh, right now, I don't know if you're ready or not, but if you're not ready, this is the time where you can just pause the video and uh, uh, get back to it when you have chosen the pile that's kind of speaking to you the most. So, let's get started. First, we're going to start with the green pile. So, green pile, let's get started. The first card we have here for you is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is all about balance, uh, being resourceful, and finding solutions for all sorts of problems. This is the card that comes up when you are uh, very resourceful with, with, with uh, very little... Uh, materials, very little money, and uh, it also uh, an indication that you're able to uh, balance everything that comes to your table. So work-wise, you're very productive, you're getting things done, and you're even surprising people. How on earth is this person able to get everything done? So for some of you, this is uh, all about balancing your checkbooks, balancing your money, and watching where you're spending um, your uh, uh, funds, but it can be also all about balancing your time. You're trying to balance how much time you're spending with your loved ones and how much time you're spending uh, with uh, work. Uh, it kind of indicates some storminess. So I think some of you went through some uh, difficult times, uh, but the rainbow is definitely a sign that things are getting better, things are uh, improving. Again, uh, from a love and relationship perspective, it is the card of balance. Uh, you're balancing how much time you're spending uh, on your relationship, how much time you're spending on uh, finding a relationship if you're single. Uh, so you're definitely balanced because two is all about uh, balance. And the next card we have here is the Six of Pentacles, which you, if you look at the scale, it is all about balance as well. This is the card when somebody in a higher position is coming in to help you. So uh, uh, it's a great indication if you have a loan or if you were applying for the loan or a mortgage that you received it and you, are, uh, you got the financial uh, help that you were looking for. Uh, but again, this is a card of uh, equal give and take as well. So... It can be an indication of a partnership, either romantic or a business partnership, where both parties equally benefiting from the relationship. Both are investing the same amount of effort and gaining back as well. It can be also a sign that somebody is helping you. So maybe if you've been looking for a job, if you've been looking for a promotion or uh, for your own business, somebody uh, might have came in to help you. This might have been in even the universe uh, to come in to help you with something, but there's definitely a great card and this is all about balance. So it seems like for now, your past um, part is all about balance. The next we have here is the Two of Swords. Now, this is another two. So guess what? This is all about balance as well. But the, it is a balance from a, a point of view of trying to make a decision and trying to find the balance. So this can be a situation where you either, you have two choices and you're not able to make up your mind. This can be either two jobs, uh, a new opportunity or an old job. It can be 
<clears throat> being uh, employed or going on your own if you're looking at from a love and relationship perspective maybe you have two people to choose from um, two people that you're dating or you have a relationship and you have uh, somebody you just recently started to date there's definitely a choice a, jo a choice that you have hard time making this is kind of the card of indecision and uh, when, generally when this card comes up deep down you really know the answer but you are afraid of making the decision uh, you have the moon card which is a sign that you need to follow uh, your instinct follow your intuition uh, when making this call and the, the challenge with this card that when you're actually making the the decision you're going to be able to see that you're going to be able to explore new areas in your life new uh, uh, new territories as well and uh, you know since uh, it, she's blindfolded it might be that there's some kind of an information as well that you're missing that you're not able to make uh, that that's kind of causing you the indecision and the last last we have here is the nine of wands the nine of wands is the card of the wounded soldier who's been through many battles and uh, very exhausted so this is indicating that whatever uh, you're here for uh, in that topic you're extremely exhausted you're ready to give up if you are looking for a job if you're trying to balance your finances or you're trying to manage your relationship or trying to find a relationship you're definitely exhausted and you're ready to throw in the towel and you say you know what that's it uh, enough for me but Every time when the Nine of Wands comes up, this is a, a call, a reminder for you that you have what it takes. You've been through this before. You're going to be able to push through. Uh, you already have signs that are indicating that your goals are close and you shouldn't give up. You should continue. You should push through. So let's see uh, the next, uh, which is the current. So in the present you have the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords, you have another blindfold energy here. So the Eight of Swords is all about feeling stuck, feeling in a position where you don't see the way out. Uh, but uh, generally, whenever this card comes up, um, it is all about uh, mental block. So there's something that's blocking you. Uh, you're too much in your head and, and you are too much in your thought because all of those swords are your thoughts that are surrounding you and you just need to uh, kind of clear them you need to relax you need to listen to your intuition uh, because there is a way out this uh, this prison is really in your head now this can be uh, different for everybody it can be a relationship that you're in maybe you are single for a while and you don't see the way out maybe you are in a work uh, environment where you don't see the way out or you've been trying to find a work and you don't know how to land that dream job that you want whatever it is you need to improve on your thoughts you need to make sure that you are more positive and the next we have here is the Five of Swords. So what's kind of also interesting for me that this Eight of Swords energy is definitely connected to the financial balance. So maybe some of you are struggling financially and that's what's causing you uh, this, uh, this uh, um, not seeing the way out um, mentality. But let's continue with the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is the card of uh, competition. It is also the card of conflict. And this is kind of like a hardcore conflict. This is the conflict where, uh, you know, everybody is in it to win it. And they are there to win over the other no matter what. Uh, and, and this is kind of where you don't have collaboration uh, and, the, and the source of the conflict is really the lack of communication. Uh, so there's definitely need for more communication, whatever situation you're in. This might be in a work where everybody is competing with each other, everybody is trying to backstab each other and, and uh, they just want to get their own way. The same in a relationship, there's definitely lack of communication and, and uh, they are fighting over each other and this is kind of like a situation when really nobody wins. 
you do have like uh, some people are walking away maybe you walked away from a, a situation of work a relationship uh, but even the winner is not really the winner so this is definitely not an easy situation so I'm sorry for that and the next one we have the moon card the moon is all about um, listening to your voice inner voices your intuition your inner guidance and, and it is also the card of shadows it is also the card of uncertainty and it is also all about um, all about you know f uh, being afraid of something for me the best example that uh, describes this card that you know sometimes when you have to walk through a forest you are not afraid but in the in the dark in the shadows you you might be afraid to do that so Generally, when the moon comes up, you you need to follow your uh, intuition, and you have you have this twice. Like you have two of the moon cards that are telling us that you need to listen to your inner voice. You need to listen to your inner guidance, and whenever you do that, even though the path you are ahead of might be uncertain, but you're gonna be rewarded. You're gonna be able to push through. Just follow your uh, inner voice. But let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading, uh, the future. Uh, but before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe uh, because that's an indication that the reading resonated with you. And you can also help me to increase the channel and to make sure uh, that more people get the message they need it. And for you, it is only the push of buttons. So I hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons. And I'm always happy to read what's going on in your lives if you're willing to share. So let's see the future. So the future, you have the Knight of Pentacles. What a great energy to have because the Knight is all about action and this is all about financial action. It can indicate you, it can indicate another person you're dealing with or just the general, uh, the general uh, uh, feeling of the card. So the Knights are all about action. So this is the challenge with this card, especially in this position, that uh, in this spread, that it's a slow moving card because the the knight of pentacles is very meticulous uh, very detail oriented he crosses all the t's and uh, and uh, makes uh, all the dots on the eyes to make sure that everything is done by the book so because of that he's a little bit stubborn he's a little bit know-it-all uh, he is uh, slow moving but he delivers uh, he is the slow and steady win the race type of energy so whatever you're kind of uh, doing here in terms of most likely some of you are uh, in a finance uh, perspective uh, this can be some kind of an offer this can be a job offer maybe you're making an offer for a house a, a, a car or something uh, a, of a bigger purchase uh, that's definitely has been a difficult for you uh, but again, this can be a job offer, which can bring you long-term stability. If you're here for love, relationship, uh, this is a great indication of uh, a relationship that brings you long-term stability. And he's very faithful, he's very loyal as well. So that's a great energy to have. But again, with this night, you have to be a little bit patient because he's not necessarily moving to the speed that you might want. And the next card you have here, the world card, which is lovely because the world is all about finishing a cycle, finishing a, a something with uh, great rewards, with victory, where you achieve everything you wanted. So I can definitely see that his heart cycle is going to come to an end for you and you're going to look back and you're going to be very proud of yourself, of all of the achievements, because this is the card of achievements, this is the card of winning, this is the card when you are finishing this cycle with um, a lot of happiness, because you achieve everything you wanted. Whatever you're trying to achieve, whether you are here for a new job, a new position, money, or if you're here for a relationship, uh, it's a great indication that you're going to achieve whatever you're wishing for, whatever your goal is. Uh, it can also be a sign of travel uh, for some of you, so uh, you will see it in, in, the, in the near future what's that gonna be all about. And 
when we are looking at the final outcome, the future is the magician. The magician is here to let you know that you are very talented, you are very attractive, and you are able to achieve everything you want. You have unlimited possibilities and you have all the tools to make sure uh, that you get whatever you're wishing for. This is the card of manifestation as well. So some of you are trying to manifest something. It can be a job, it can be a promotion, it can be a relationship, whatever you're trying to do. I think uh, the magician is here to tell you that you'll be able to achieve it, especially with the world card. Uh, you're, it, I think uh, whatever you're wishing for is gonna come true. You just need to be patient. You just need to make sure that you are balanced because at the bottom of the deck, you do have the two of ones, another two. We already talked about twos are all about balance, balancing things. And it is also about the decision. Uh, and the decision you had here in, in the past as well with the two of swords. So I think for a lot, a lot of you uh, who chose this uh, green pile, there's a very important decision where you need to follow your heart, follow your uh, inner voice. And, and I think um, just try to clean clear your head, try to have better communication and I think whatever you're wishing for is gonna come true. You just need to be patient, you just need to put in the hard work and uh, just make sure that you do your manifestation exercises. So Green Pie, that's all I have for you. I hope that this reading helped you and I'll be able to welcome you again. And now we are going to continue with the blue pile. Alright, so hello blue pile and uh, welcome to uh, this uh, section of the reading. Uh, so let's get started. First we're going to take a look at uh, the past energies. Your first card is the star, which is, oh my God, such a lovely card to have. Uh, the star is all about healing. The star is all about uh, recovery and positivity and hope. Uh, this is the card of major wish fulfillment as well. Uh, so uh, some of you might be working on your dreams and, and trying to uh, realize it. Uh, but when the star comes uh, out, it's also an ind indication that you've been through some hardship uh, because the star is following the... Sorry, I'm just trying to uh, change my microphone because it was stuck. Okay, so the star is uh, following uh, the tower, which is a major change, a, a very sudden change. And the star is here to s tell us that you've been recovering from this major change, you've been uh, uh, doing better, you've been hopeful, you are leaving all your baggages in your past. Some of you might have lost a job, some of you might have had a breakup. Uh, whatever painful situation you went through, the star is here to let us know that you are healing, you're getting better, and the universe is helping you to actually achieve whatever you're wishing for. And sometimes when the star is here, it's an indication that you're actually gonna get something way better than you wished for. This might be a better partner, a better job, a bigger salary, uh, whatever you're dreaming. And look what we have here in the past. It, it is uh, the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is all about uh, some kind of a new beginning, a new start, uh, which uh, a new chapter that brings you long-term prosperity. If you're here for money, career, or finance, this is je definitely uh, talking about a job offer, a new project, uh, or some kind of a promotion, or some of you might have started your own business, and that has a long-term uh, potential from a financial perspective. Even if you're here for love and relationship, uh, this card is indicating a new chapter coming to you, uh, where things are going to be more stable, things are going to be more secure. Definitely an indication of a potential long-term relationship or if you're already in a relationship, the relationship can get stronger and uh, becoming more reliable. And we have here the King of Pentacles. There's a lot of pentacles here, so there's lots of money in, in question here. Now, the king of pentacles uh, being a court card can be indicating uh, you 
uh, a person you're dealing with or just the general energy of the card. The Queen of Pentacles is a lovely energy to have because he is very good with money. He has long-term stability, he has lots of money, he worked hard for it and he achieved it, whatever he wanted and he built up his own uh, empire and he's able to take care of everybody in his empire because he has the funds. He's a, a great father energy as well, so great indication of a long-term loyal relationship where uh, people are benefiting from it. It's definitely a more conservative energy, um, so if you're trying to do some kind of a move from a business perspective, uh, when this card comes up, uh, you should uh, definitely not try to be uh, very risky. And let's see the next card. So we have here uh, the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is telling us there's some kind of mental block that you, you've been uh, fighting. Uh, this is the card where you are in a situation where you don't see the way out. This can be a, a relationship or a, a job uh, or your own business or whatever situation you're in, you just kind of feel stuck and you don't know how to continue. You don't know how to uh, get out of it. but this is the sword card right so all of those swords are indicating uh, that those are your thoughts and when you look at it uh, she is not really bound very she's very loose all of those uh, all of those uh, uh, strings are very loose and she can get rid of uh, that headband or, or that eye uh, I cover as well very easily and get to the castle in the back so what is really telling us that you need to think you need to work on your thought process you need to uh, work on clearing your mental blocks uh, because like practically you have all the amazing cards here uh, the star the ace of pentacles the, eight, uh, the, uh, the king of pentacles are such a lovely energy so whatever is blocking you it's really you now we have here the next card as the queen of pentacles lovely so we have both the king and the queen which is a divine counterpart a perfect match a perfect uh, uh, relationship if you're here for relationship uh, this is definitely a soulmate energy where you're able to find your perfect partner because that's what the king and the queen of pentacles are for each other. Both are loyal, both are great business people and both are perfect parents, uh, mother and father who are uh, raising their children, giving everything they have to their, to their loved ones. So lovely energy to have. And even if you are here for money, career, finance, the, uh, the queen of pentacles is somebody who is able to get whatever she uh, wants because uh, she makes uh, great uh, great financial decisions and the bunny on the card is an indication of productivity uh, and uh, lots of nurturing as well uh, some of you it might be an indication of a business partnership as well when you look at the queen and the king of pentacles uh, I think this is kind of like a an unbeatable partnership for some of you uh, in, in a business uh, term uh, because these two are just simply amazing and we have here another pentacle the nine of pentacles uh, what a lovely energy to have these are all cards that are all about hard work and the nine of pentacles she is independent she is uh, uh, she lives in luxury, she can afford whatever she wants, uh, she always invests into new things, those three pentacles, and keeps uh, the rest for herself because uh, she deserves it. This is uh, the energy when you're able to enjoy the fruits of your labor, whether you are uh, here for, um, whether you have your own business, whether you are uh, employed, uh, this is the card that tells us that your hard work pays off. Some of you might get into a leadership position, uh, but it's a great card to have if you own your own business because this is all about independence and, and being able to afford everything she wants. If you're here for love and relationship, this is definitely a very independent card. Some of you, if you're single, you might be actually 
uh, enjoying the freedom you and you have and you might be actually picky uh, with the queen of uh, pentacles in terms of who you are choosing because you can do it uh, and if you are in an existing relationship this card can be an indication that your partner is giving you all the freedom you need to explore all of your hobbies all of your passions and this is definitely an indication of a mature relationship uh, where the relationship passed the initial hurdles and you're kind of enjoying the fruits of your labor that's what the nine of pentacles is all about and we have here uh, the temperance card which is all about patience so what this really telling us you have a lot of conservative energy you have the king the queen of pentacles and you have uh, the temperance uh, the temperance is telling us that you need to take one step at a time and don't rush into anything uh, because this angel is trying to make gold out of water and uh, you need uh, to be patient to achieve that so what this really tell, tells us that whatever you're trying to achieve don't rush into something just make sure that you work hard if you have your own business your career uh, just don't rush make sure you you just uh, stay take one step at a time and even if you're here for love and relationship don't rush into anything stupid uh, just uh, make sure that you are uh, you're kind of waiting for the partner uh, that you want and if you're in, a, in an existing relationship just be patient and and just take one step at a time but let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe because that's an indication that the reading uh, helped you and you can also help me to grow the channel and to make sure that more people get this amazing uh, message. Uh, and I'm always happy to read in the comment section as well what's going on with you. So let's continue. So the next card we have here in the future is the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is kind of goes back to this Eight of Swords, right? You have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Uh, these are all about uh, get, uh, thinking and worried about something, something that keeps you up even all night. But I never kind of talk about it, but you know, she does have the uh, comfort of blanket, which is kind of going back to this Queen of Pentacles and uh, and the nine of pentacles indicating that i think you shouldn't be worried because you have good financial background uh, so again you need to make sure that you clear your mind uh, because you know it it seems that that you are uh, too much in your head whether we're talking about relationship or whether we are talking about your own business there's something that's keeping you up all night and uh, when we look at here, the next is the Lover's card. So the Lover's card is all about great partnership, soulmate energy, and it is all about uh, uh, making a decision as well. So I think if you are here for love and relationship, if you're single, there's definitely a chance for you to meet your soulmate. And if you are uh, in, a, in an existing relationship, you might be already with your, your soulmate because this is the marriage card as well so there's something some of you will uh, definitely have the chance to get married but this is also the card of decision so there's some kind of a decision that you're gonna have to make and that's kind of what comes through you more uh, because um, this decision seemed to be keeping you up all night so I'm not sure um, maybe because you're just not patient uh, because uh, this decision is somehow connected to this financial independence and uh, the patience that the angel is uh, telling us about but let's see what we have here uh, as the last card so the last card we have here is the eight of pentacles so there's lots of eights and nines which is kind of like an indication that you're close to your goal but let's talk about the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles as you can see is working extremely hard creating those pentacles to make sure that they are look exactly the same this is an indication that you're very good at what you do uh, you have a great talent you're putting in a lot of hours 
uh, day and night to make sure that you are achieving the goals that you are working towards. And uh, the Eight of Pentacles is a sign that your hard work is going to bring you the reward. So I think, I don't see that you have any reason to worry because whether we look at it this from uh, a money career finance or from a love and relationship perspective, uh, there's lots of great stable energies here. I think you might be a little bit impatient, uh, but try not to be because you're going to get whatever you're working for. Let's see the bottom of the deck. Maybe that's going to help us a little bit to understand. Yeah, so the, the bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is all about balance, balancing things, balancing money, balancing relationship. So I think um, you're kind of a little bit afraid of, of uh, balancing checks. Maybe uh, you're uh, afraid of uh, financial instability or uh, emotional instability. But I think you got this because you have such a lovely, stable cards here. So blue pile that's all i have i have for you i hope this reading helped you and i'll be able to welcome you again